Hi everyone, this is Cyrus for iPhoneS.com and iPhoneAppsMinder.com. Today I'm covering Red Onion. It's a Tor Power web browser. Now we've covered other applications that allow you to track, to actually use the Tor network to keep your privacy online. And we've done other videos. Onion was one of them. Red Browse Red Onion is another one. Now this one actually requires you to enter your passcode to enter. So I did that and it takes about five seconds to set up and configure the tour. So now my, I have my fake, not my fake, but the IP address that people are going to see, which is different than my main IP address. And I can type anything. I can go to any website that I like. Let's just go and do that. It's going to to take a little bit of time for the website to come up. So I'm just going to show you other features. You have tab browsing so I can open new browser and let's just go to yahoo.com. I can change browser settings. Now this one is a little bit more sophisticated than the other application that we tested. Obviously you get internet access over the Tor network and sites are not going to be able to see your IP. You can, as you can see, there's a speed you're, you're compromising. You're actually sacrificing some speed for privacy. So that's not allowed to happen. And it supports do not track obviously multiple tabs that I showed you. You can share your URLs. You can, access websites on the dark net. So these features are all available. As far as we go to settings, you have your browser settings, active content cookies, whether you're going to have a spoofing or not, HTTP pipelining, do not track. You have your file manager, obviously sharing out downloads that are available. You have your, you can have a new, identity, you can change your passcode, passcode, you can change your app settings, obviously, and say which search engine you want. If you want the best one, a lot of people go with DuckDuckGo as far as privacy goes, not the press search engine, but if you want to keep your privacy, start page is also another option. Number of concurrent downloads. So these are pretty basic options, if you will, for browser and Let's just go and try something else. Let's go and try a new identity. Let's see what happens. So we requested a new IP. Obviously, if you can see the sites show up, but they're not perfect. For instance, our site doesn't show the AdSense ad and but everything else shows up fine. The speed is not again, the greatest. And that's again, the sacrifice that you have to make. Here we are ad blocking. Now, if we go, let's just go to browser settings and see how we can change that. Let's go and change that to a spoofing. And now let's try that again and see what happens. Till that comes up, there's some useful tools that you can go out to find out more about Tor. This actually breaks it when I use the Windows option, which is kind of interesting. So it's not perfect. If you use Tor and if you use these browsers, so none of them have been perfect. We've tried actually a couple and they all have their own issues, but the general idea is that you're using something like this to protect your privacy and avoid getting tracked online. And with an application like this, you can accept sometimes things don't work out the way you want. Add as many tabs as I like here and open new websites. I also have the sites that I've visited in the past. I can tap on that to go there. So, Red Onion, Tor Power web browser.
I can't say it's the best or not because there are just so many, not so many options available as far as web browsers that do this automatically for you. So, but it, it did load faster than the other application that we tested. It took about five seconds. The other one is about 15 seconds to configure Tor network. You get multi-tap browsing, get a little bit of the speed delay. There's a delay in loading websites, so that's understandable. Get your file manager, do not track. I show you the settings for the app and also for the browser, so you get do not track, blocking, active content, and all that. So simple application by Omar Modi. I hope I pronounced the name right, and it's available for 99 cents. And this is version. 1.3 i'm sure it's going to get improved and get better so if you have any suggestions for a developer or if you have any comments on the browser if you found better ones please leave them in the comment section and for more information please go to iphonenest.com and iphoneappsfinder.com thanks again for watching guys